The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. Uh, is that right? Okay, just wanted to make sure. Oh, I know what's wrong here. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, it's a, another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. And, of course, uh, big news out here today. And I was betting on the opposite side of that news. So I had one position that went in the negative. Uh, but uh, overall, not too bad. The other two positions I had in the other newsletter uh, eked out a small profit. And uh, one of the holdings is up 50% uh, over yesterday's low. So eh, it's always nice to have more than one single position going on. And that way uh, you don't... Uh, you don't take the lumps too hard when things don't go your way. But uh, I'm still kind of scratching my head on just why everybody's excited about 8.7% interest rates. But uh, uh, doesn't really matter, does it? The market's always right. You're maybe right, but uh, if uh, the market's not going your way, eh, does it really matter? Not really. Anyway... Just very interesting action out here today. Probably other than the markets, uh, what uh, I think a lot of people uh, aren't talking about. I heard uh, Larry bring it up uh, on his show, though, was the bond market. And that was very interesting, along with the, the dollar. So there's something going on in the background of the market that I don't think is uh, abundantly clear just yet, but probably will be in the next few days. But uh you had a big push uh, higher, up to almost 119 on the TLT. You've given really kind of, of uh, that back and more. So we're kind of down around the lows of the day now. Uh, but uh, I'd been looking for that to go back down to about 112. And I thought it was very hard for the market to go higher if interest rates, uh, or the, yeah, if the, the market to go higher, if the interest rates are going higher. Well, there was a lot of action going on today, and part of it uh, actually in the uh, dollar. Let me get that up real quick. Uh, there we go. Let me get it here so I can actually show it. This is the one I can show without revealing all my deep, dark secrets of my trading accounts. But uh, investing.com has it. Um, quite the move off of 106 earlier today. We're at 104.96. Uh, got down to almost 104 and a half uh, on that dollar index. And the question is, what really went on? Were people as wrong as I was coming in this morning uh, just in the dollar? Um, very tough to, to uh, take a look at and think that the market was – uh, that ill prepared for what I think it was inline numbers, but uh, I do digress. Like I said, I suspect there's something more going on, and I'll probably find it uh, out later. Anyway, TLT interesting, markets are interesting, and of course, uh, one thing that uh, we always want to look at when we get these huge moves is did we get the associated volume that we should be seeing. So back up at these highs, probably should be in the neighborhood of about uh, 10 billion shares already today. And we're not even doing what we were doing yesterday, really. Uh, we're doing just a hair under 7 billion shares. So is this a huge move with uh, volume? Well, it depends on what you're looking at. Um, this is one of these markets where the indexes are being driven by extremely few stocks. So does that mean we're uh, going to give it up instantly? No, this is probably, let's go ahead and take a look at something like the spies. Um, SPY, he said, SPY. 
Um, this is probably a buying climax. Uh, and does that mean that it instantly goes lower? The answer is no. Generally, you'll hang up at these highs for about three days, uh, and they'll try to get everybody they can out. But uh, when you look at the spies today, we're going into a 96 million share high on June 2nd. Um, 54 million shares so far today. And that is just showing you how really narrow these indexes are being pushed, how very few stocks, uh, Microsoft, uh, Apple, uh, pushing a lot of stuff. There just doesn't seem to be the fear of missing out, though, on retail traders. Now, we'll see what else happens. Uh, but um, the downslope of volume that really kind of started uh, back on the 29th uh, is still intact. So you will be hitting the highs with lighter volume. You will be also um, on my power law vector indicator number, seeing the energy on the way down significantly higher than the uh, energy on the way up. So you have what I think is, uh, or what I c would call a congruent pattern here. That is at the highs, significantly lighter volume. Uh, on the way down, uh, energy on the way down compared to the energy on the way up, uh, significantly lighter. Then you have an untested low at two, uh, 362.17. Now, that being said, uh, my deep uh, inside uh, uh, source says that the Treasury may be doing a lot with cash out here, and that is where we're getting a lot more of the move. It may be coordinated with the Fed. It may not be, uh, but uh, it certainly looks like it. We certainly have a long time before the Fed comes out, but not really congruent with what the Fed had been saying earlier over the last week, as, uh, as hawkish as they'd been saying uh, from the Midwest to uh, the Dallas Fed, all saying that to 75% uh, uh, rate hike, uh, yeah, 0.75 percent rate hike um, could have been 1 percent, and suddenly nobody believes that anymore today. I I don't know. Uh, certainly on the volume, it would call them liars or being wrong. Depends on who you're talking to, the people that should know or the people that think that they know. They just don't know that they don't know, maybe. Anyway, massively lighter volume into a previous high, we're probably going to uh, hold it. That generally connotes, if you hold it the first day, that you're probably going to see that high continue on for three more days. And this is kind of a pattern that gets a lot of people that are short out of the market at the highs. So I don't see any reason of sitting around and continuing being short. But also, you tend to get something else, and that's probably what I'll be doing for the next handful of days. And that is the meme stocks or things that you think are uh, iffy um, will start seeing some risk on trades again. So, hawkish talk. Yeah, hard. We'll be back in a minute. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 Yeah, I didn't do the thing in the lead-in. I've been warned by the uh, folks at Spectrum uh, to expect an Internet outage around this time for a couple of hours. So I want to try to get in uh, at least on the top end. But uh, I don't know. They said somewhere between 2 and 2.30 I would lose my Internet connection. They generally are a little early on that. So I figure that's going to hit me in the uh, bottom uh, after the bottom of the hour. But uh, – they're pretty good about that. Anyway, uh, just know that I'll probably be cut off in mid-sentence somewhere along the show today. And uh, yeah, that's what it is. The old Internet. They're switching fiber lines up the street. And it's going to take them, they say, an hour or two. They generally run a little long on that. But uh, certainly uh, I will probably not be back before the end of the show. We'll see how long it goes. Maybe they're goofing off up the street or it starts raining and they delay it a little. 877-927-6648. Let's do a little history. Eh. And of course, what did I do that I forgot that I didn't do? That is every time I run Windows updates, I've got to remember to go back and reset everything because for some reason... That stuff just does not stick. But uh, I will do it again. Then it's all just a little bit of history repeating. And yes, they should wait until after my show, but uh, there are cads at Spectrum, apparently. So what do we have going on today for uh, history? Uh, U.S. Patent Office awards a patent to Rudolf Diesel for his diesel internal combustion engines. This is uh, 1898. And he started to do a lot uh, with uh, the diesel and got Mercedes involved and started building it. But for the most part, he had uh, some bad investments and also uh, Mercedes kind of ran off with a lot of the money. So he was having real problems. Uh, and, uh, of course, everybody was looking forward to war. The Germans were building U-boats for the first time. Remember, this is a country that 
declared war on the world, not once, but twice. One, one small country. Uh, anyway, they uh, uh, certainly, uh, 1912-ish, they'd uh, taken his diesel engines and already put them in a submarine. And why they were still working out a lot of the bugs, they really understood that in a submarine, the only thing really mattered was not gassing the people in the sub with the gasoline motors that had existed before. Uh, so using uh, and uh, basically being screwed out of the patents he had in Germany, he started to look for places like the U.S. and the U.K., which I think was just England at the time, uh, to uh, sell his uh, to sell his diesel engine patents and technology and tell them how to build them. Well, on the way over to the UK from France uh, to, uh, uh, I can't remember where it was. Anyway, there he was going to England and he was going to meet with a lot of the military guys and try to sell them the patents uh, to the diesel engine. And uh, midway, he found uh, he disappeared. And, of course, they found him floating a couple of days later uh, and uh, didn't really understand why or how he ended up there. He was in big financial trouble. So the Germans spread the word that uh, he had uh, killed himself, but uh, didn't seem a whole lot of reason to kill yourself if you're going to go make a bunch of money selling your diesel uh, plans to England. Uh, they had warned him, that is, the Germans had warned him, not to sell the uh, patents. And uh, most people believe there were a couple of men missing off the, off the, uh, off the ship uh, during its voyage, which wasn't that long. It's from wherever it was to wherever it was. It was overnight. That was about it. Uh, but uh, a couple of men missing along with him. And uh, most people believe that it was German agents that had bumped him off and dumped him into the water. Uh, I think that was in 1812, maybe 1813, or excuse me, 1913, 1912. Anyway, enough. <laughs> uh, oh, no, I can always trade on my phone. Someone was asking me about that. It's just that the, there's, you know, I'm not, I don't have any kind of the bandwidth uh, that uh, we have. I've been looking for a secondary system and uh, T-Mobile and uh, Verizon keep advertising uh, a uh, secondary internet system in this area and I keep calling them and they keep on telling us that it's not available yet uh, but uh, they've already got the towers up for 5G secondary uh, systems and when I had problems early on with the internet back in 2000 when I was trading I had what was known as a load leveling router that was a router that you could plug into two different uh systems so i had one uh, uh set uh, actually hooked up uh to american on i think it was an american online uh through the dial up and the other regular phone line or uh, i had a dsl line that was hooked up on the other side of that router so it would always use the fastest which was the dsl at the time and then sp uh, sp been over to the dial-up if I had any problems. And, of course, back then, everything was slow as snot. That's 20-some-odd years ago. But uh, they still make those load-leveling uh, routers. And just, you know, if I had the ability to have two uh, Internet connections here, I would. Uh, but uh, not yet. The uh, Frontier uh, got out of this area, which I loved. And I've got Spectrum, which is generally fairly good, but uh, they do a lot of maintenance uh, like they're going to do today. But uh, if you've ever thought about uh, actually using two different Internet connections, there is a device that will hook both of them up and uh, load level or share the Internet connections between the two so that you'd never have a dropout, especially if you live in areas where uh, it, your Internet connection is iffy um, you know, you can always, you know, fairly soon. And, of course, uh, Elon Musk is kind of coming up with his system. So there may be ways of getting redundant systems. If you've got enough money on the line, it's probably an issue. But I do digress. 
Uh, I haven't bought one yet because I don't have two. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm actually going to start researching it and find out which uh, uh, one is good now. I think back then I had, mine was uh, 3Com. But, uh, yeah, those guys don't – they're not around <laughs> anymore, are they? But uh, I, if you just Google load leveling uh, routers, you'll find out. But, uh, yeah, it'd be nice. I just – you know, for years I was uh, living on the other side of uh, of uh, the town, and I had the most wonderful FiOS connection in the world. There hardly ever went out. It's a little more iffy over here. I don't hear anything on the other side. I did hear something? Have it? There we go. Talk to you in a couple of minutes. Hey. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious tech, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Yeah, we're talking about load leveling routers. But uh, yeah, for a trader, pretty good, you know, if you're, if you've got iffy, connections and where I lived before was perfect uh, it was always uh, the internet itself or somewhere else the office maybe if I had problems with my with my uh, show internet but it was never with the fios that stuff was rock solid so spectrum not quite as uh, as wonderful uh, anyway we have some people uh, we got uh, pretty much, uh, let me put it this way, we've got a market that's pretty much uh, driving everything into a very few stocks to get the uh, volume, uh, or, I mean the uh, indexes higher today. But it doesn't matter what you look at, it's problematic to be best. Um, Microsoft on, uh, what is that, May 4th, 
uh, gap down the next day on the 5th with 43 million shares. You're into that today with 18 point, uh, and let's call it 14 million shares so far. So you're getting a lot of these highs attacked on very light volume. Um, Microsoft probably the better of the bunch. I wouldn't be short it, uh, but uh, it had a nice gap up higher. And one of the uh, dinners uh, had it. I wasn't very hot on it because I, of course, was thinking that we'd gap lower. But uh, no, I don't think we're going to do anything other than hang up here for a while. If we gap down tomorrow, maybe that's something. But my guess is they're going to hold this up for a handful of days until every short is out of the market. Uh, it's not that it's real, not reliable. It's just that we have so many somebody in the den saying Spectrum's not reliable. They have to do a lot of maintenance because there's a lot of. I'm in. Most people don't know that Pinellas County is the most. I think the only the most densely populated county in America, except Manhattan. So, you know, we've got some land, but. Uh, there's a lot of people here, and when they're adding new, uh, all kinds of things, new condos, new houses, uh, new businesses, uh, there's a, a reason they have to continue adding more infrastructure uh, to supply those. Or, in this case, they're getting rid of copper because the phone company is leaving, so they can't lease, uh, leave those uh, copper lines up anymore. Those are probably worth a ton of money, don't you think? They're going to leave them up. I, I talked to the guy who was out working on the pole earlier today, and uh, he says, they, you know, we're just going to leave them up there for a while. And he says they eventually come by here and take them down and sell the copper. Uh, and apparently it's worth a lot, a lot more than the fiber they're throwing up. Uh, or bearing. Bearing? Yeah, bearing. Uh, anyway, uh, we're talking about Microsoft out here. Again, we can look at a lot of these stocks and uh, take a look at Apple. Uh, Apple pushed a couple of times higher and rolled over throughout the day. Now it's kind of sitting up here, not too far from uh, its highs. Uh, but again, you just go back and look at really since uh, the gap higher on the 29th of July, you can draw a fairly nice line down here. And today, uh, the gap higher with 41 million shares. Uh, the last big sign of strength was on the third. That had 82 and a half million shares. So you're into a lot of these highs with half the volume. But uh, again, I it, the best I can say generally when the market goes sideways, at uh, as it has right here at 4200, and you don't get a lot of movement. Uh, is that the thing is going to sit up there for about three days before it starts any kind of significant pullback. So on Apple, uh, hard to say. Everybody's already flogging uh, supposed new products uh, that they're going to roll out in September. Um, so I don't know. Can they keep it going? It's going to be tough. Uh, IBB, let's see if there's any volume in that today. Uh, no, I think uh, I'm going to find everything that you find here today with a volume, which is not a whole lot. On the 10th or on the 8th, you're up on 2.6 million shares. You got about 1 million shares today. So, yeah, could it roll over tomorrow? Yeah, but I wouldn't bet on it. Uh, question about the GLD that we have here now. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're just up against resistance. It's going to take a while to chew through it. This gap down was on the 5th of July with 14 million shares. Yeah, you would got 2.5 million shares today, 3.2 the day before, 3.3, 6 million, 5 million. You're just, it's just going to have to take a while to chew through it. But uh, eh, dollar moving the way it is, if that continues, uh, pretty nice. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I've had somebody emailing me, I mean, almost on a three or four time uh, uh, day as the market has gone up every single five minutes about how he's shorting the market once again. And we've got once again another prediction of the end. That's why I think it's going to take three days. And that is uh, 
we're going to have to wait until these folks quit emailing me and quit uh, telling me how they've shorted $50 million worth of Microsoft every day on the way up and still aren't broke. But uh, yeah, that's just me. Okay. Generally, when those guys quit going on, the market rolls down. We don't have a lot of shorts, so I'm not surprised that we're up here with very light volume today, although they've jammed it up here. Uh, to, to, okay. okay. I got another email. If I can find it here. I know it was. A, what are the odds we likely see railroad tracks on the dollar uh, daily chart tomorrow? I'm long on nugget calls. I just realized uh, that that's what would probably stop it here. Uh, well, you've got resistance there already. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of probably backing out of the gold trade here. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't think – well, let me put it this way. The the person I listen to the most um, is a, a trader that I know I'm good friends with for over 20 years now uh, that was a floor trader uh, in the CBOE. But he's saying that there's somebody out there with a lot of cash, and that's why the dollar is down. The question is, is this a, are they going to continue uh, pumping cash? Is there a reason why they're pumping cash? Is it uh, the Treasury? Is it the Fed? Uh, he leans more to the uh, Treasury pumping here and uh, trying to get the dollar down, maybe to get the economy going. But uh, at that point, again, you start seeing bonds fall. Um, but he thinks that there's a there's a, a big industrial reason behind that dollar move today, and that they're trying to either break it down on one side. But I'm thinking the Fed wants the other, don't they? They probably higher interest rates means a higher dollar. Do you really believe that uh, interest rates are going down significantly with interest uh, with uh, inflation still at 8.7 percent? Um, that it didn't go up is kind of the equivalent of saying, yeah, I'm beating my head against the wall, and I just do that because when I stop, it feels so good. I, it's just tough for me to tell. So that's what I'm going to say is at the moment I'm going to wait for any kind of signs that the huge amount of cash being uh, dumped into the market, driving the dollar down, changes. I wouldn't uh, move my gold position if I was long. Again, you don't have much of a difference out here today, but uh, you might have a little bit of a pullback. You've got to think that eventually that dollar will probably firm up. We'll be back in a minute. TFNN has been your trusted source of analysis for bonds, metals, stocks, commodities, and options for years. And we are happy to announce that we are bringing that same caliber of analysis for the Forex market. Teddy Kekstad has 30 plus years of experience in Forex trading, commodity risk management, Forex hedging, volatility, and so much more. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with elite coverage of all major currency pairs, including the DXY, Euro Dollar, Pound Dollar, Aussie Dollar, dollar yen, dollar Swiss franc, and so much more. Teddy will recommend specific trades when the market presents them and provide updates throughout the week when warranted. For the month of July, inaugural members to the Tiger Forex Report will receive 25% off the monthly subscription for as long as they're subscribed. Just use promo code TEDDY25 to lock in the added savings. This offer is good only for the month of July, so do not miss your opportunity to save on the Tiger Forex Report. TFNN, educating investors. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. And as we turn, uh, eh, everybody's saying that there isn't volume everywhere. Well, there is. A lot of little short squeezes. Uh, small caps have started to get a little bit of froggy. Velodyne LIDAR, VLDR. This was one that was uh, very hot a long time ago. Uh, and the interesting part of this, uh, go back, what, a number of years here. Was that uh, the 2020? Um, was uh, I wrote about in the Tech Insider? It was always interesting to me how they had a system. I think back in 2020, at the beginning of 2020, uh, was about forty-five thousand dollars to install, and on a car, and must system. Uh, for self-driving, this is all about self-driving stuff, was about two grand, and that was manufacturing costs. So 45 grand, who knows how much it would cost retail. And let's say that they got the price down 50%, it'd still be 22, 23 grand, 25 grand, something like that, plus whatever they needed to make on it. So maybe 40 grand compared to must two grand for his system, which they, I guess if you miss that, we'll look at this next. But not surprising that there, this is a penny stock these days. Uh, it was very tough for me to see how they would ever get the costs down low enough. Now, interestingly enough, with all the noise surrounding will he buy Twitter and everything else and did he sell shares, um, on Friday they had to admit that uh, their self-driving stuff just uh, runs over motorcycles left and right in testing. So, you know, I think there's some lawsuits on this where it actually has run over a few folks uh, on motorcycles, but uh, eh, doesn't seem to bother it so much today. Uh, did have a lot weaker uh, down, and of course, all people are going to talk about is uh, Musk selling shares and Twitter and all that. Um, I think there's a lot of reasons, like I said, probably a $40, $60 stock one day. The question is, at just one point, does everybody wake up to see that this probably isn't much of a change? I know that why everybody loves the Tesla at the moment, uh, those, uh, you know, we are going to probably see uh, a lot more of the, the uh, of other cars getting into the market for EVs. And it's probably, I'm going to say over the next year, I suspect that we're going to see this down in the 400s, maybe 450. But it's going to take a little while uh, for these things to roll over. But, uh, yeah, if you got your self-driving uh, self, uh, option on, eh, just don't uh, put a motorcycle or a bicycle in front of you. That's it. Yep, he certainly is selling when he can, not when he has to. Okay, so what else do we have here? Okay, um, yeah, they're just, we're just stuck at 4,200. It looks to me like they're going to pin it here and maybe pin it into Friday. Um, so, again, I'm going to have to see some evidence 
uh, that uh, that dollars stop being uh, either sold or you know we won't know for a few days on where all that cash is coming from but it's certainly a lot of cash coming in driving uh, the dollar down today uh, we already looked at the TLT I don't think there's much to say in that Jeff uh, let's go take a look at the SMHs uh, to, to, to. I had the uh, QID uh, in the uh, Tech Insider just because it looked so horrible, but I had it from the day before, so there was a lot of room uh, to uh, to be wrong here today. You're not a whole lot higher in this, uh, but. Uh, it's still a very, you know, you are basically got a short squeeze. And there, were all, there wasn't a lot of shorts, but uh, the usual suspects were still there, uh, both in advanced micro and in NVIDIA, uh, with tons of people shorting them uh, to the tune of NVDA uh, to 30 40% of the shares yesterday. So I'm not really surprised that we see these with a little bit of a reversal. But what you don't have is any kind of volume. Hey, could you get a little bit more 182.50 ish out of Nvidia? I think you can. Uh, to to Okay, is the XLE a Doji being halfway on the move up or down? Um, I'm fairly bullish on energy right here. So I would say it's probably, it's more than likely half on the move back up to 78.66. Uh, with the dollar, I'd be very uh, reticent to sell it if I was already long the XLE. I think uh, energy will probably come back. It's going to take a little bit more time than gold, probably. But uh, both of those probably looking fairly good if we continue with a declining dollar. So yeah, halfway move. And that's about halfway to that 78.66 high on the XLE. You've had some nice movements. You don't have a lot of volume, but on a doji day, that's kind of a tie goes to the runner. You really want to see what happens in the next couple of days. Uh, it's very tough for me to see that the whole world doesn't go to hell in a handbasket if crude demand remains this low. Uh, but, uh, you know, we're actually uh, driving less. And, of course, the high gas prices actually had us driving less than the uh, same time in the pandemic when no one was going to work. So, you know, it certainly got us off the roads, which is what they wanted. But, uh, yeah, got uh, 77 and a half. Yeah, 78. I think that's certainly possible. Uh, okay, yeah, Hector, so halfway on the way up. I'm looking at the glass half full. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. And what do we have here? Okay. Got a couple more emails. Last chance to get to this one. Okay, we'll see. Okay. 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 Work day. We'll get two from for Leonard. Um, it looks just like the rest of everything out here. Uh, you got one and a half million shares. This is going into this gap down from the 18th of May. That gap down with four million shares. So you've gone through it with 1.5. Again, my belief, at least at the moment with what I have, is that you may have a high here, but that high may take a couple of days, maybe even into Friday, uh, to uh, ring out whatever shorts that are left in this market, maybe even the people that shorted today. I think probably if you're looking for any downside, you know, do we gap down tomorrow on something? Some unknown news could happen, but... Uh, Minus some real bad news, my guess is that they're going to make everybody pay up if they're short over the next couple of days. We'll be back maybe in the next couple of minutes.
Augusta Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the Dow. Dow is up 439, NASDAQ's up 322, S&P's up 75, and yeah, the... Dave's getting his internet fixed. Uh, bottom line, let's go over to the SPY. Because you, what you're going to have here, folks, uh, more than likely you're going to have a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. Uh, you have the, the SPY right now. You're at 418.72. You're going to need, uh, I want to see like 68 million. Uh, but they can do 68 million pretty easy. We're at 46 million right now. Now, here's the divergence, okay? So that's the SPY. The NDX100 is a different animal, man. NDX100... This is actually pretty dangerous, what it's doing. And this is what it is. The NDX, okay, uh, well, the three Qs can't get into uh, 326.47. We hit 325.78. And that's always a little dangerous when you're going up in a big day. You have a swing that's sold off on, which we sold off on that on uh, Monday. Um, you know, so this is going to be interesting watching this whole thing shake out here, man. You know, it might take a little rest, but that NDX uh, is important to understand. And, of course, we go back to King Dollar. Now, King Dollar, this is going to keep the market itself, folks. I suspect we're going to go a lot higher. And this is why. This is a valid break. Not only a valid break, but this is a break saying now, you know, we were talking about when you get wide price spread accelerated volume on a break, this is saying the dollar is going to 97. And, you know, the first, the first break was, we had got the first break uh, last week, okay? That was saying that we were going to 105. This is a nice break, man. 
this is a really cool break. Um, you know, you have the price spread in a dramatic way. So that's saying, guess what? You're coming all the way back down. And if that's what it is, if that's what we get, you're going to start, you know, yeah, the, the market can consolidate a bit. You're going to pull back a bit. But the bottom line is that uh, this market wants higher price. We go into the gold market. We take a look at the gold market out here. We have the gold market right now. Uh, and this is uh, <laughs> really deviant. Uh, it's a nice setup, though. Now watch. What you have here, we actually had higher volume today and a pullback $7. You get higher volume, you pull back. We're going topside once again. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems important.